Democrats here now as a Republican congressman. Louis Gohmert from Texas. He is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. So, Congressman, what happens if there are no-shows? Well, if there are no-shows, we still need to keep doing digging. We need answers. And, uh, you know, it uh, makes sense if you've not been truthful when you've testified, you may have cold feet about testifying again. Uh, you don't want to compound any uh, lies you might have told because those are crimes. So uh, it but remains would they be, to be would seen. Would they be committing a crime if they were no-shows despite a subpoena? Now, the, that's not necessarily a crime, but we would have to go to court and get a court to force the issue uh, normally is the way I understand it. Uh, same way with uh, finding someone in contempt, like we found Eric Holder in contempt. Right. Of course, that didn't but seem to, to move him one way or the other. It didn't accomplish well, no, much. Well, because he knew, he knew that to enforce it, we had to go to a D.C. court and have a U.S. attorney that answered to him uh, proceed. And, and there are ways around it, but yeah. uh, it would have been very difficult. So I, I personally think Speaker Boehner only agreed to let us have a vote to hold him in contempt when he found out it wouldn't go anywhere once we voted. Right. But I felt like we did need to actually take action so that people in that administration would understand you can't keep obfuscating and obstructing justice when you are in the Justice Department. Well, there's but been a, there's been a lot happen. of that going on, and I just want to yes, focus, if I can, on the questions, because we don't have much sure. time left. But sure. the real question is whether or not the clear anti-Trump bias did affect their actions, uh, Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. Peter Strzok was much more important yeah. than Lisa Page. I mean, we know that yeah, he was absolutely. he was involved. We just heard uh, that General Flynn is in the news again. He was one yeah. of the people that was that was interrogating uh, That's General right. Flynn. So, That's right. did it specifically affect their actions as working there's for the actual, FBI? There's absolutely no question that it did. And for Horowitz how? In to, what way specifically? Well, for for one specific out of many. First of all, when you're pushed putting together a criminal case, and I've done that before as a prosecutor, you don't have people normally say, I intend to commit this criminal act. But you can take the things they do say and look at what they did and see, aha, they did exactly what they said they, in, they were going to do and wanted to do, and therefore they did have intent to do the well, act one of the that things that one of the things that uh, uh, at least Peter Strzok did was he moved the investigation at, at a critical moment. Exactly. He moved away you from the Hillary a, investigation to the Russia investigation David, when he could have gotten more point. juice out of the Hillary thing. Was that done because look, of political bias? Exactly. David, if you look at what Horowitz said, he said he wasn't really sure or comfortable that that they could say with confidence that the bias did not affect his decision to go immediately from stopping the Hillary Clinton investigation over to investigating Donald Trump. I mean, for heaven's sakes, how yeah. ignorant do you have to be not to put those two things together? The bias was consistent with everything that ended up happening. There is nothing uh, that happened that they created that they did was not totally consistent with their bias. Right. Therefore, you have intent proved. Uh, it's pretty basic. Congressman, we got to go, but I have have to ask, sure. they're still on the payroll, as far as I understand it. Are you going to try to take them off the payroll? Yeah, we, we've got to move to do that. Uh, you can't keep paying people to refuse to do their job, to refuse to come forth and testify, to refuse yeah. to produce evidence. You've got to be off the payroll okay. if that's your position. You need to be uh, it, waiting in the wings, gotcha. waiting to testify before a grand jury. Congressman Louis Gomer, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, David. Thank you.